Right then people, welcome back to the Magpie Channel TV. Not really sure how to start this video or how to really do it in any way, I suppose, because it's not one of those videos that you, you really enjoy doing, obviously. Uh, but it's one of the ones that needs report. You know, it is news, it is very important, and the club will be speaking about it soon, I'm sure. They are aware of the incident, and now it's all over the press and all over social media. Let's talk about it. For you that haven't seen it, it's big. It's it's shocking, is what it is, really. It's disturbing. I hate this type of thing anyways. i nearly seen an altercation like this outside St. James Park, in fact, after the Liverpool game, where obviously these group of lads have won too many, and they're taking the piss out of people, and then one lad stood up for himself, and then it's so close to getting into a brawl like this has done with a new castinated player, and it's just so unnecessary, man. I can never understand it, why lads feel the need to have a scrap, and unless something may just happen you know what I mean, and, and I feel like, right, we can get this out of the way with a fight, but the, the fight's always pointless, really, because it's so dangerous, like, literally one punch, man, one bad punch to the head, one bad fall to the ground, you could kill someone, you could seriously injure them, you could ruin their lives, then you're going to ruin your lives, is someone being shaky, is that punch, is that is that fight really worth it, if you're going to end up in prison, or you're going to carry that guilt with you forever, or, I, I just, I kind of wrap your head around it, I never can, to be honest, um, but this one, is obviously big news because it involves Newcastle United's captain, Jamal Lascelles. Lascelles on the 20th of August, so after he came back from Man City, went on a night out in Newcastle City Centre and got into a huge street brawl, huge street fight, whatever you want to call it, with a group of other people and his younger brother was seriously attacked, his friend was seriously harmed and Lascelles was threatened to be shot. That's what this gang were shouting, they were shouting, shoot him, shoot him. So it's mad. These are obviously all from the Daily Mail. That's It's their exclusive. It's Craig Hogue's exclusive. You can go and check it out yourselves. I'm going to read from it now because obviously this is what I'm going off. When, when this first came out last night, I didn't do a video because, well, one, I was feeling ill as fuck. Um, not to move back. Just nauseous as hell. Horrible it was. A little virus thing. But um, it was because I wanted f more facts on it. I wanted this to be... Uh, you know, well known. It was coming out yesterday that, oh, have you seen this video? It looks like a new cast player. And then, oh, have you seen it's the cells? And, oh, have you seen this is what happened? And now that this article's out there and the, it's got official, you know, police are investigating it, now I think we can speak about it instead of just uh, bringing it out and, and, and speculating things. I wouldn't want to do that, especially when people have been involved and, you know, there's violence there and the, there's obviously accidents involved and everything as well and serious accusations. So let's have a read about it and then I'll give my opinion on it. So I'll put the old Bond specs on. So, Newcastle captain Jamal Lascelles attacked in violent city centre brawl, which saw Lascelles throw a punch after he took a blow to the head as gang threatened to shoot him and his brother, his younger brother was there as well. It was a group of six to eight men that attacked the 29-year-old Magpies captain. Police are investigating the brawl involving Newcastle captain Lascelles, which was claimed the gang of men threatened to shoot the player and his brother. Officers from North Rumbia Police were called following the clash on Westgate Road in Newcastle during the early hours of Sunday, August 20th, so the night after... Uh, the Man City game, and you can see it on the video, it is outside uh, like Weatherspoons, that Mile Castle down the road from China White, which was the nightclub that they left. The Cells is the one in like the green gilet, so it's hard to tell in there, but he's the one at the end there where he takes a hit the head and he chases after the lad where the, the kid's behind the, the car who's recording it, whoever's recording it, that, that's the Cells there. You can kind of make him out eventually when you see him, but he is the one in the green gilet. Does get that sly dig and then he goes after the kid. Because um, at the minute, at, at the start, really, the cells is the one that's trying to break things up. And then he gets slagged to the head there, I'm watching it back. And that's minging behaviour as well, by the way, before we talk about anything else in the article. The old sly digs, I hate that, you know. Reaching out when, when someone's facing the opposite way, what a coward, man. Like, doing that is, is the worst crack ever. And then when you kick someone when they're down as well, like they're already down. Is that not enough? When people get kicked blows to the head when they're on the floor, man, it's... Bad crack, that, like, really bad crack. So this is apparently an unprovoked attack in the saying that a man elbowed Lascelles' 19-year-old brother in the throat for no reason is what they're saying on here. Um, you know, it's hard to say this, in it? Because until we get proper information about it, this is just what these are saying. The, the mail article is saying, you know, it's unprovoked and that. We don't know what happened in the club. Was there an argument in the club? Was there an altercation? What? But they came out and this has happened. It's claimed the bottle of vodka was... Then thrown towards the cells and narrowly missed his head. Narrowly missed his head. Imagine it again. Just launching a bottle of vodka. That knocks him in the head. Like, how wet, man. It is said that the cells managed to throw one of the men to the floor, but his brother was punched in the face and was bleeding. Their friend, meanwhile, was kicked in the head and knocked unconscious. It was during the fracas that the group were alleged to have said they were going to shoot the cells. 
In a video seen by Mail Sport, Lascelles is leaning over one of the men in the road and appears to be calling for calm when he is blindsided and punched in the face. He responds by throwing a punch in the direction of the same man. Sources say the Nottingham born star was acting in self defence throughout the incident and was trying to protect his teenage brother. The group of men then ran off before emergency services arrived and Lascelles' friend was taken to hospital. Now, this is obviously the worst part because Lascelles' mate, who was there, uh, Juicy we talking about there, was on the ground and unconscious. Onlookers said they feared he was dead because he was unconscious for 15 minutes while paramedics worked on him. Police have since spoken to the alleged victim, although we understand no arrests have been made. Nothumia police did not respond to Mail Sport before publication of this article. Newcastle, meanwhile, are aware of the incident and have seen the video. They say they will deal with the matter internally. So Newcastle, the club, are aware of it. They know about it and they are dealing with it behind closed doors. And that's about it, really. That's that's all the main parts of that. Um, just digesting it, like I said. The crack with the, the, the friend, I really hope he's all right. The sell his mate. Um, you know, unconscious for 15 minutes. People are worrying... Is he still alive? That's just ridiculous, man. That, why is that ever the crack? Why are people going on like that? There's no need for it. Um, and then for me, on the looks of the video and the looks of the article, Lascelles, like they say, is doing it in self-defence. He is doing it to protect his brother. And I'm not being funny. If it was my brother or my mate, I would do the exact same thing. You know, there's no way I'm going to let someone just elbow my mate or my brother or whoever and then just throw bottles of vodka at them and just try and, you know what I mean? Obviously, you're going to stick up for them. He, you can see him just getting in the middle and trying to calm it out. Then he gets the sly one. And he chases after him. I don't really have uh, much qualms about it, really, or what to say about the sellers. I mean, he is acting in self-defence there. He hasn't went over the top and starts booting someone on the floor or trying to murder someone. You know, it's just uh, it's just crazy, really. And to see, like, professional footballers in that altercation, it's it's a shame. I mean, has he been targeted because of who he is or or what? But, you know, it's, it's no good for him, his younger brother, and especially, obviously, the friend who was taken to hospital. Um... It's not something you want to see at all, no matter who it is. Doesn't matter if he's Lascelles or an average Joe. Like it, it, it's, it's not nice. It's, it's not right. You wish it didn't happen, but when drinks involved, it's a night out. You see it all the time, don't you? That's just, it's a big shame about it, like. But uh, as it seems, thankfully, hopefully his mates recovered. Now the one that was unconscious, and um, yeah, let's just see what the police make of it. It's not for me to really comment on it much, much more. I'm just reporting the news. And uh, like you see, the club are dealing with it behind closed doors, as you'd expect. They're dealing with it internally. We'll see what comes of that. Obviously, Lascelles is actually linked with a move away at the minute, isn't he? With Bastik, that's interested. Um, he, he didn't he didn't play again on the weekend against Liverpool. Transfer deadline days on Friday, so will he still be here? What's what's the future for Lascelles? But we'll wait and see. I thought I'd, I'd let you know in case you hadn't seen it yet, and. Have a little talk about it because you kind of just pick and choose what you make videos on, you know what I mean? In, in terms of that wouldn't be fair to use a lot or, or anyone. I kind of just be like, it's the same yesterday actually. I seen a bloke outside Shiraz and he was like, oh, are you, do, are you doing some videos on Matty Eye? You kind of hide away from this one, son, you know, we're bottled it there, Eddie House, substitutions. And I was like, of course I am. I'm not just going to, I'm just going to make videos when it's all rosy. Do you not know how the channel was founded? Do you know what I mean? The first few years were absolutely garbage. So you can't just make videos when everything's going right. When, oh, we're buying this player or, oh, we've won that game 5-1. You know, when you lose against Liverpool in the last minute, when there's important news to, to talk about, it's, it's, got, it's got to be done. It's got to be reported on. Let us know what you think in the comments below. It's a very busy week here on the Magpie Channel and for Newcastle United. We've got the Cowboy Cup draw live tomorrow night, so that'll be 10 o'clock, so make sure you tune the channel for that one. And then Thursday, we've got the big one, Champions League draw. So Wednesday at 10pm, we've got the Cowboy Cup draw. Thursday at 5pm, we've got the Champions League draw. Friday, we've got deadline day. Saturday... Right in a way, very busy week. So make sure you subscribe and, and tune in to all that coming your way. Thanks again, everyone. Cheers. See you on the next one.